of two things has happened. Number one is the most likely scenario. The Detroit Lions just went into San Francisco, beat Brock mid Purdy, and are headed to their first ever Super Bowl. Now, if that is the case, which I imagine it is, that means I'm in San Francisco right now, probably 18 Miller Lights deep, face down in between two honky milkers. Now, granted, there is another scenario. There's a scenario where the most mid quarterback I've ever seen okay. grace this okay. earth somehow, some way, got past the juggernaut that is Dan Campbell, Jameer Gibbs, Amon Ra St. Brown, Sam Laporta, Jared Goff, Taylor Decker, yeah. Aiden Hutchinson, CJ Gardner Johnson, Jack Campbell. You get my point. And quite frankly, I don't really care what happened in the AFC because whether we see the Ravens or the Chiefs, we're going to beat either of those teams in the Super Bowl. Just wanted to bring that up before this absolute super hater. It's the playoff season, and not only that, it is the Dallas Cowboys season. Regardless, we've got a pretty amazing team assembled, and our record is one and one. We've got limited Zay Flowers, and of course, CD Lamb. We've got Gronk, our prestige. Our backfield is a serious Holy throwback. Shit. We got Dre Archer, a Madden Mobile legend, and Drew Brees, a hairline legend. Defensively, we got Jesse Bates, we got Jalen Ramsey, we got limited Nick Bosa prestige, we got Jalen Carter, Ray Lewis, Sirwin James. Definitely gotta work on this offense offensive line. I definitely got to work on our corners. We do have Jalen Ramsey, but that's it right now. We got Alex Austin and Carrington Valentine in there. Linebackers are pitiful. The rest of the D-line's pitiful. All right, boys. First wheel spin of the day is coming in here. We got three. We're going to start out with, and here we go. We get three mystery packs. We get to keep all the players in them. Mystery packs have a ton of different options. The worst case scenario is a gold plus player. Pretty much anything else is going to be very helpful here. No gold pluses. This one is kind of dog shit, but I will say some of those campus hero players are really good budget beasts. These are usually just 82 overalls, and we're looking for any 85s. Joseph Asai, he will be a starter. Andy Dalton. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> all right, so Joseph Asai's second round's got J.K. Dobbins. Joseph Asai again. Jalen Mills. These two are actually pretty solid. Jalen Mills I can put at corner. Let's see what his speed's looking like. Oh my god, you're fucking horrible. I mean, I guess you're better than a silver, but yo, this Jalen Mills is dog shit. Jalen Mills and Freholt. I'm gonna take it, and then final round is, um, these guys are hardly better than silvers. All right. I have had a blast on Madden 24, but I've always got a complaint too. This has been the worst year for packs. I mean, look at this. We're going to get a pro playmaker pack here, guys. There are 95, 96 overall players in the game. I think the best thing I'll probably get here is like an 87. Now, for Wheel of Mutt, this is awesome. But I don't know, man. There used to be a huge allure to packs. It's just gone. All right, I'm done talking shit. We got Willie Rolfe. We got Jake Ferguson. We got a guy who can't catch a football. Fourth is Fred Taylor. Actually, a season one legend. Dude's a stud. That Aaron Donald's gonna be super helpful. Walter Payton, Taylor Tart, Shelby Harris. Okay, so this is actually really good for Wheel of Mutt, but like hilariously bad pack. Got a little bit on the offensive line right now, and now we get our third and final mystery pack. We got a center, a left tackle, some D tackles, Charlie pack. Okay, we need a corner, please. Corner, 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 sort of. No, his man coverage is so pitiful. I don't think I can put him at corner. Not sure I really have a choice. Final is the Pastronaut, who's not gonna help us. All right, let's go see how this helped this team. Well, on the bright side, it took us from an 81 overall to an 85 overall, but bad news is none of these players will make the final lineup. Regardless, we got Willie Rowe for left tackle. We got Hjalte Freholt at center. I don't know if I'm saying the name right. Jake Ferguson, backup tight end. Pretty cool for Dallas Cowboys season to have Jake Ferguson. Joseph Asai is actually going to be an outside linebacker. That way we can put Aaron Donald and Shelby Harris on the D-line. Jalen Mills, corner two. Paul Krause, corner three. Paul Krause literally has 57 man coverage, so he might as well be silver, except when he's in zone coverage, he's actually pretty good. So yeah, I mean, hey, ask for packs. I got them. We'll take it. All right. Second wheel spin. Teams are better overall. We're much more rounded, but let's see if we can add a stud here. I'd much prefer to add a stud. We're going to get it. It's a 93 jackpot. Any player I want in the game, they must be exactly 93 overall. Oh, what position do we go for here? Do we go outside linebacker where Truman Jones is? I forgot. 93 left outside linebacker has so many good options. So if I want edge pressure, we go with a guy like TJ Watt. If I want lurk artist, we go with a guy like Josh Allen. I'm going to be honest. The absolute best option is Harold Carmichael. But I had him last season and everybody and their fucking mother uses Harold Carmichael. Michael. I imagine most of you don't come watch Wheel of Mutt um, for the pro-level gameplay. <laughs> So I'm not getting Harold Carmichael. That said though, I don't like any of those options. In fact, I think I've had every single one of those guys on a team at some point. Now I will say Lawrence Taylor's probably gonna be in 
coverage more than I'd like him to be. But you know what? He's got 75 zone. He's got 62 man. Lawrence Taylor is an absolute freak of nature and I haven't used him yet. I think Lawrence Taylor is the move here. This is one of my favorite players of all time and probably the best defensive player in NFL history. Ooh, I could put Lawrence Taylor on the other side of Nick Bosa and actually put him at left end. All right, we're going Lawrence Taylor, no outsiders. And I actually have his position switched to left end. So he's not actually going to play linebacker, which I now realize probably wasn't the smartest because I still have a silver linebacker in, but now nah, I'm excited to try this. It doesn't matter. I'm excited to try this. So let's do it. All right, we've got some crucial core players. We've got a dominant outside linebacker, third and final wheel spin. Hey, hey, let's go, baby. We're gonna get a 93 or a 94 overall player, but they must come from whatever team this lands on. It looks like it might be Texans. Hey, I love that. Dude, shout out to the Texans, man. What a hell of a season. Now this is actually such a bummer because CJ Stroud's limited is a 95 overall, but that's okay. We're still gonna have some really good options and I'm excited to add a Texans player. I know there's an Nico Collins, but I don't need that. So there's the Will Anderson. We did have this Will Anderson last season. Derek Stingley. Ooh, that's a nasty card. I love this. I tried to pull this Derek Stingley when he was a limited. Swing and a miss. There's also corner tank Dell, kind of a goofy card. It's like a 94 is, I think the only 90 for is Nico Collins. Yo! Christian Harris is a fucking dog. What? Whoa, 95 speed? What the fuck is this card? If he gets Lurk Artist, I'm getting it. If he doesn't, I don't know if I can. He gets fucking zero AP Lurk Artist. This card is disgusting! Sorry, Derek Stingley, but it is not your time. Neither is it for Biko Collins. 95 speed, 93 Excel. He gets zero AP Lurk Artist. He's got 94 change of direction. He's 6'1". This card's fucking insane. Eight. Zero AP Lurk Artist. So we can run Lurk Artist for free on Christian Harris. No outsiders on Lawrence Taylor. In certain sets, we'll have Ray and Christian Harris in the middle and Bosa, Lawrence Taylor off the edge. And sometimes we will have Lawrence Taylor as a coverage linebacker, but 75 zone is really not that bad for an outside linebacker. Christian Harris just happens to be a freak of fucking... I cannot stress how good this card is. This is the fastest linebacker in the game with free Lurk Artist, insane change of direction, and he has 92 zone. What is this card? Card. All right, boys, big game coming up. We are one and one. Obviously don't want to fall to one and two. And of course, we've got Christian Harris, all those packs, and Lawrence Taylor on the line. It was a linebacker episode today. And of course, you can never forget about the challenge wheel. It's been so clutch, and I still need packs to fill holes. So let's see if we can do it. Ooh. We've never gotten this one. Okay, the combined total score of the game needs to be odd. Very simple bet. Can I just say bet? Holy shit, I have a problem. Do I even need to explain that? You guys understand how that works, right? I don't need to explain that. If I need to explain that, then you shouldn't be watching my videos. Your mommy should be tucking you in and she should probably be filtering your internet access. Let me see my top three. Zay Flowers, Nick Bosa, Christian Harris. It's really the playoff season. That was a full playoffs top three. My substitutions are not correct. Okay, we've got some changes to make. He's gonna start out with a run going nowhere. Adrian Peterson's bottled and he's gonna no huddle this. We got a blitz. Ramsey, Ramsey, get home, get home, get home. Where are you throwing? Derwin! Derwin Poverty James. Derwin sitting on the couch during the playoffs. No wonder James, third and 12. Montana just threw, this game is a wrap. Not, not getting any comp today. CD Lamb, team captain's in. Just rage quit, Nick. Let me go play a real ball player. Going for the world record fastest rage quit here, boys. Let's see if we can pull it off. I want him to rage quit in the first, and then we just don't count this game. And we go move on to a big boy game. Come on, Montana. Drop Christian Harris into coverage here. Christian Harris just dogged that block. This guy's losing by one <laughs> You gotta quit, buddy. I had it right the first time. Oh my God, you know what's funny? He's gonna quit and it's an even score. He quit and it's an even score. I could have technically cheesed that challenge wheel and said that I got it, except I made the score even like an idiot. Let's go find a real ball game here, boys. Pick it on Walmart, Karen. Hell yeah. Now that's the kind of gamer tag I like to see. Starting with the kick, we're back in AT&T Stadium, but this time we're taking on a real franchise, the Las Vegas Raiders. Gary Sanders on the return. Jesse Bates, go get him, buddy. Ooh. Somebody go low. Somebody get Barry. 
You're lying. Christian Harris and Ray Lewis in the middle. This is probably my best defensive scheme. Nice ball to Barry. Big hit, Jalen Ramsey. First and 10. This is for verticals. He's gonna heave it over the top. Oh my God, I just got dotted. Holy shit. Okay, I'm scared this is a run and I'm in nickel now. I gotta go on Jesse Bates to blow this up. Right side, right side, right side. Beep at me? Fuck you. I think this is probably Deuce Close stretch, no? No. He's passing, what are you doing? Third and goal from the one. Oh my God, I don't know what defense to go with here. Fuck. I, I, I should have called the timeout. I should have called the timeout. I didn't even get the pinch off. There's no way to stop that like that. See if he runs it up the middle, I should be able to blow it up. He's gonna pass! Erwin swatted it, but it was still catchable. He does drop it though, six to zero. Hey, nice touchdown by him, but that two point stop's really big. I think I'm gonna go for two now, because if I get it, we can really dig him in a hole. So we have a weak offensive line, but we've got an awesome halfback and quarterback. I'm gonna start out with a stretch, because we've got Vanguard Brook going for the huge block. He gets another. That's why you run Vanguard. All right, gonna keep this one simple. I got Dre Archer on a wheel. I got Gronk underneath, and I've got CD potentially in a seam here. We got Gronk. Gotta throw it quick, because that blitz is hot. There goes Gronk. Went for the double juke. CD pushes him forward. Nice work. Right over the middle. Too simple. Jamar Chase, the young prestige. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. That is such an interesting play. To have a smoke screen there is so cool. I really like Dallas's offense so far. Let's run dagger deep curl. Um, whoa. Silver O line, Matt. You have a silver O line. You have to settle down. It's all right. Second and 21. I got to sit in this pocket strong. Strong, 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 strong. There you are. Drew Brees. Ooh, on the run. No dashing that I needed. If he's playing deep, Zay Flowers on this smoke screen. Okay, he does not bail, but Gronk is a touchdown. What a ball. Drew Brees is kind of nasty. That was a perfect drive for the Cowboys offense. It's six to six. It is an all Madden PAT. I've missed these before, but if I just lock in, lock in, man, lock in. Lock in. I'm telling you, that thing is hauling dick and balls. Seven to six. We take the lead. I need Christian Harris in the middle with me. So right, okay. Johnson's got to get subbed out. Once we do that, this will look a lot better. I see 86. I see the... Dude, I'm getting dotted. Okay, hold on. Johnson for Christian Harris, Austin for Paul Krause, and let's just stay in zone. So I'm gonna get sliced in man coverage. Definitely could be a Barry handoff. Goes with a quick out route, but honestly, we got bodies over there. I got a bait Kincaid. Oh, I like that, I like that! Jalen, keep your fucking feet down. Oh, he did it, he did it, he did it! Holy shit, I was looking for the camera to switch. Let's go! Jalen Ramsey! Okay, this is really sketchy on first and 10. Gronk, Gronk! Yes! Rob Gronkowski! Put the burners on, Gronk, get the fuck off of me! Let's go! Holy shit, what a monster pass! I tell you what, when you're backed up like that, they're going all out. First and 10, let's go right back to Dre Archer. Hold those blocks, gentlemen, get inside. We are on 40 bomb watch. Zay Flowers, Zay Flowers owns your poverty franchise. Let's go. Two point conversion. I'm running this. Make this game 15 to six. Get to that fucking edge. Oh, cut it. I, I had it on the edge of three archer. Why am I cutting shit up the middle? Whatever, it's a, it's a seven point lead. We get ball at half. Definitely can just take your PAT there and force his hand, but something tells me he's gonna go for two again and I'm gonna stuff him again. Ooh. Okay, this guy loves his corner routes, his deep out routes. What did he run out of this last time? What did he run out of this last time? I don't remember. Corner routes and out routes. That's bench. He just ran bench. I'm gonna bait that. I just gotta watch 86. If I follow 86, I've got this. Oh, dang it. Oh, knockout! Universal coverage. Jalen Ramsey gets the knockout. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Go in! Take it to the house! Take it to the house! Oh, he's rattled now. His first drive was so good, and now he's rattled. I had it last time. I just got spooked. Second and 10. If I come out in the same formation, you think he'll think it's a run? Grok. Butt naked! Big joke! Get your ass in there! Look at that downfield blocking! Oh my god, a good downfield block will get you so horny. Holy shit. Clean up an aisle, my pants. Get your ass out there. Get your ass out there, and you better make that. 
Are you sucking my dick? What? Oh my god, what? Oh my god, a fucking dimension to another universe just popped up in front of Gronk's hand because the ball fucking went through it. What? Oh my god, that was, that, you literally cannot run that fake any better than that. That's a 15 point lead as opposed to a 13 point lead and... We are on 40 bomb watch, need I remind you? By the way, guys, after sexually assaulting Galopius, I think he might be pregnant. This is a side note, but that fucker is having a kid. Buddy, if you keep throwing the same fucking thing, it's gonna keep getting picked off. Just so we're clear. Are you gonna quit and then I don't get my 40 bomb? Yeah, you're gonna quit and then I don't get my 40 bomb. And I didn't even get my kicker pass. All right, boys, we will have to accept that rage quit. That looked like it was gonna be a good game. He just fell apart. You see it right there, baby. Walmart Karen goes down 19 to six, add him up 25, odd score. Challenge wheel complete and a rage quit spin. Let's get this money, boys. So fun fact, I get one pack from the store that costs coins. There's actually a special offer where you can get a 92 overall legends fantasy champ for 130,000 coins. So this is every 92 of a legend in the game. I'm gonna take this absolutely for my challenge wheel. There are six options. There's Russ Grimm. We've had him before. He was really good. And I don't have a left guard. That's a good option. Howie Long. I'm edge rushing with Lawrence Taylor right now. Djax, probably not. I got three good wide receivers. Vince would be really good, but we do have Jalen Carter. Otto Graham's a big no, and Sean Taylor can't cover. That decision was made for us. Russ Grimm back on the offense. And the really nice thing about this Russ Grimm, he gets discounted linchpin, which is the new ability this year that's protected except for run blocking. So protected gives you better pass blocking the whole O-line. Lynchpin gives you better run blocking the whole O-line. By the way, I'm very well aware that it doesn't say that. That's how this ability works. I don't know why EA is so bad about describing how abilities work. These fuckers give you one sentence and just say run with it, buddy. Figure it out. Regardless, Lynchpin is a sick ability. Uh, and we need it when our offensive line's dog shit, so I'll probably be running Lynchpin here. Gotta free up some AP, but that shouldn't be too difficult. This is a huge W. This is exactly Exactly what we needed, and of course, we once again get to spin the Get Gooder Wheel. One spin here, and hey, look at that. We're right back. One store pack. Now, I can use training for this if I want to. So I could go a mystery pack or... Now, nah, I think we just go a playoffs fantasy pack. Decent chance we get like an 85 or better. Most likely just gonna be 82s. Demonte KZ. He's probably better than Paul Krause at corner. That's a really good start. Christian Benford and Sam Williams. We take Benford because he's actually a corner. Then Demonte KZ. Second round is two offensive linemen. Let's go. We're gonna take a Laird Jackson. We're gonna move him to right tackle. And the... And has got Isaiah Oliver. Let's go. Actual corners. Although, in Jalen Mills' defense, he made a very big tackle in that game on Barry Sanders. All right, boys. Not bad. I'd say our linebackers are probably done. Lawrence Taylor, Ray Lewis, Christian Harris. Yeah, obviously, we do need an MLB too, but this really isn't that important. If you shuffle your linebackers and safeties, you'll be all right without four. Derwin James keeps playing well. Still a little outdated. D-line obviously needs work. Aaron Donald, Shelby Harris ain't gonna make the end lineup. Corners obviously need work. KZ and Benford ain't gonna make the final lineup. Up. Russ Grimm's probably the only guy on this old line that'll stick around. Gronk could definitely use a better backup. Uh, but I like my wide receivers. I like my backfield. We just got to get ourselves a fullback. All right, gentlemen, we're rocking a two and one record. Keep in mind, five wins to make the playoffs, three losses, and the season resets. So we need three wins before two losses. Squad's looking good, man. I'm feeling good. All right, boys, I love y'all. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.